Pleasant good morning to you. A rich man gave a speech to some students. And the speech is actually saying what Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7 says. And that is, be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Rich man gave his speech. Uh, he didn't worry about whether he is politically correct or whatever. He was just talking to a now generation of kids. And listen to what he said. Rule number one, life is not fair. Get used to it. Uh, then he says, number two, the world don't care about your self-esteem. You deal with that yourself. The world will expect you to accomplish something before you feel good about yourself. Don't get it the other way around and say, I must feel good about myself, then I can accomplish something great. No, 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 no. Uh, then he says, uh, you will not make $60,000 a year right out of high school. You wouldn't be a vice president with a car phone uh, uh, right out of high school. You gotta work for it. Uh, then he goes on to number four. He says, if you think your teacher is tough, wait till you get a boss, then you will understand. Uh, then four he says, flipping burgers and making bakes and saltfish and selling is dignity. It's a dignified job. Your grandparents had a different word for it. They called it opportunity. They didn't call it an undignified job. Uh, then uh, rule six, he says, if you mess up, it's not your parents' fault. It's your fault. So don't whine and uh, fret over that and blame somebody. If you mess up, that's your fault. Take responsibility for it. Uh, then uh, number seven, he says, before you were born, your parents weren't as boring as they are now. They got that way because for an entire lifetime, they have been paying your bills, cleaning your clothes, and listening to you talk about the cool things uh, that you are doing. So before you save the rainforest uh, from the parasites of your parents' generation, try delousing the closet of your own room. Uh, then uh, eight, he says, your school may have done away with winners and losers, uh, but life has not done away with winners and losers. If some school, in some schools, they have abolished failing grades and they'll give you as many times as you want to get the right answer. Wrong way. Uh, this doesn't bear the slightest resemblance of anything in real life. Uh, then number nine, life is not divided into semesters. No, you don't get summers off and very few employers are interested in helping you find yourself. Do that on your own time, not on the job time. Uh, then television is not real life. No, television is not real life. In real life, people actually leave the coffee shop and go to work. And some of them work eight to four on a daily basis. Uh, then number eight, he says, be nice to the strange people. Yeah. That at school, that sometimes you call them nerds, be nice to them because chances are you may end up working for one of them. Back to my text. Life is not an easy roll out of bed and do as I feel and spend time wasting time, idling time away. No, life is about Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. The younger you are and you understand that that is describing life, the quicker you will be a success story. Our God and Father, thank you so much for your goodness towards us. Guide especially a young person into knowing that they cannot idle their life away and expect to succeed. Help them to timetable daily. Then, with your help, they will end up being a success story. Stick this in their mind, I pray, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.
May God richly bless you. Make the world but give me Jesus All its joys are but a name But His love abided ever Through the eternal years the same Oh, the height and depth of mercy Oh, the length and breadth of love Oh, the fullness of redemption